down this way. See? Fuck. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh shit. I really hope it's one of my friends playing a prank on me. I really do. I'm actually scared shitless. I'm on top of a tree right now in the freezing cold. And there's a random guy chasing after me in the forest. What's up sergeants? Welcome back to another video. I'm Mo Sarji. You guys are the sergeants. First of all, let me just say a big thank you and a big shout out to each and every one of you that is subscribed to my channel. We just hit 800,000 subscribers and because of that I decided to go out all by myself in the middle of the forest. Not just any forest. I am in the Slenderman forest. You guys know I've done about three videos out here. We got attacked once. We've seen the... Okay, that was scary. <laughs> As I was trying to say, we got attacked once when I was here with Danny, and I think Ali was with us at one point too. I don't remember exactly. I'm here all by myself tonight. There is nobody around me. I'm here to give you guys an adventure all by myself. You guys remember the last time I was here, I discovered the cages where the people that were kidnapped here in this forest, where they were locked up. I discovered them in this forest and I showed it to you guys. Bro, look at this. Yeah, what the hell is that? Slender Man's backyard. I swear to God, somebody lives here. Bro, is his house around here? Is his house? Is this his house? Careful, careful, careful. Cage or, uh, There's a cage. What are those things? It's a cage. It's a trap. That's what it is. That's what I'm looking for. What? Why is this out here? But we made a discovery. There's another cage over there too. Bro, these are cages. These are human cages. Bro, you think this is where he keeps his animals? What the f***? Keeping his victims? Bro, these are cages. Yo, as if. I'm gonna go back there and investigate it and try to find more proof that there were actually people stored in these cages Now we all know Slenderman isn't real. It's a fictional character. Yeah, a lot of you are gonna comment Slenderman is not real We know Slenderman is not real, but Slenderman killings are real. If you don't know what a Slenderman killing is go on Google and Google it I'm not gonna sit here and explain it. I'm all by myself. I'm actually terrified The only weapon I have on me right now is a knife. It's freaking cold outside. It's minus 15 degrees Celsius outside right now I need you guys to smash that like button for all the bangers that I've been giving you guys in a row There's gonna be more more bangers coming so smash the like button I love you guys once again thank you for 800,000 subs now let's get to the adventure before we move any further into this video before I explore the forest that I'm about to explore I need you guys to know that this video is sponsored by sellmegiftcards.com now you're probably wondering what the hell sellmegiftcards.com well it is actually a miracle and by miracle I mean a lot of you guys can relate to this now a lot of times people send me Amazon gift cards and I can't do anything with them because a lot of times they just don't work in my country so what you can actually do on sellmegiftcards.com is you can actually sell your Amazon gift cards and you can get cash back and you can have it sent straight to your PayPal which is super awesome SellMeGiftCards.com only accepts Amazon gift cards. You can literally easily sell your gift cards on the website and you can get your money straight into your PayPal account, which is so cool. It's actually so convenient. I actually use it because a lot of times I get gift cards from you guys and I can't use them in my country. So what I'll do is I'll go on the website and I'll sell the gift cards there. And right now you can get a 2% discount if you use promo code MOSRG. The promo code will be down in the descriptions below. So make sure you go down there and click it and sell your gift card. What you gotta do is go to the website, fill in your name, fill in the options of how long and how quickly you want your money and then you have all these simple steps and easy options that you can follow through and you can get your money sent straight to PayPal. Now that I've given my sponsors a shout out, what do you say we head back to the forest? Let's go. Now first things first, I have no idea where the cages were. I found them last time accidentally. I was actually lost in the forest for a good two hours with Danny. As you guys recall, we were being chased by a figure of some sort. It was a somebody wearing a mask, a mask of some sort and you guys pointed it out in the video. I didn't even see it in my own video. But, um, I don't, honestly, I don't remember where the cages were. I'm gonna try to find them tonight, and hopefully we can discover something together, investigate it. This is why I'm out here by myself like an idiot. It's all good, though. Honestly, if this forest doesn't scare you, I don't know what will, because it is pretty scary, and this actually reminds me of the Slenderman game. It's kind of very, very similar. Like, the layout of the land, the type of forest it is, it does look like the Slenderman forest in the actual video game, but obviously, like I said, Slenderman is not real. You guys can see here that there's snow between all the leaves. That's how cold it is out here. I'm actually off trail now, walking into the forest, trying to find the cages. I have a feeling they might be somewhere in that area. Now, you guys remember when I was here in the summertime filming and we were being chased by whoever the hell that was that was chasing me and Danny there were leaves everywhere and there was shrubs and 
there was less visibility so we could not see over the horizons we couldn't we were actually like literally lost in the forest for hours and hours um i might have a better chance of finding them this time because all the leaves are gone What the hell was that? Hello? It's probably just the wind. Guys, keep your eyes wide open. If you spot anything in the distance anywhere, make sure you pin it down in the comments below. I'm so scared right now. I'm actually really, really terrified. For a second there, I thought I found the cages, but it was just a, a tree that's completely destroyed. As you guys can see, I have been walking deep into the forest and I literally cannot find the cages that were here last time, the ones that I discovered. I discovered a little abandoned house and cages everywhere. Look like the cages that would fit humans. I'm finally starting to see some indication of the cages being around here somewhere. These are the cans. I remember them when I was here in the summertime. These are the cans that I encountered as I found the cages. The cages should be somewhere in that area. I'm gonna keep looking. I've actually been in this forest for a good hour all by myself right now. And I'm frozen solid. My hands, these gloves do not do justice. You, you, like, you don't understand. It's so freaking cold. So I need you guys to smash the like button with my frozen thumb. I know you can't see anything right now. Um, I have my lights off for a reason. I, I could swear somebody's following me right now. I, I thought I saw something in the bush down that way. You guys cannot see my, my fingers pointing forward. But I, I could swear I heard a footstep of some sort. It wasn't, wasn't mine, definitely. But... I'm kind of scared right now. I'm, I'm trying to keep my light off as much as I can because I don't want anybody to spot me, especially the old guy that lives in this forest. I think I found the cages just beyond those trees. There's a little barrier there. I remember that from last time. And the guy's, the old creepy man's house is just back down that way. So I got to be very careful for him not to catch me and chase after me. I don't want him shooting at me or trying to kill me. Like I said, I'm, I'm by myself. So like I, just the fact that I'm out here by myself is scary enough, let alone an old man, a crazy old man. What the fuck was that? Take a look at this, more evidence. Okay, finding more barrels. I'm finding some man-made rock. I'm pretty sure they're just above that ridge over there. Holy shit. Holy shit. Guys, guys, I am hiding up in a tree right now. I told you guys, I heard footsteps. There's a guy looking for me. I'm not even joking right now. I can't turn on my lights and I can't speak loudly. Shit, 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 shit. He's gonna see me, he's gonna see me. Look. You can see him with his flashlight on. Holy fuck, what does he want? There's a guy all by himself in the forest chasing me right now. Oh fuck, where'd he go? I'm literally breathing so heavy right now. I'm having an anxiety attack right now. I'm hiding up in a tree. I'm way up above the ground in a tree. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. He's turning his light towards me. I had to run up this tree so fast. I don't think he saw me run up this tree here because if he did, he'd be after me right now. I know this is all dark, but I'm really sorry. If I turn on my lights, I'm fucked right now. Oh, is he coming back? You guys hear the footsteps? This was a bad fucking idea. Who the fuck is this guy? Like, every time I come to this place, I get chased by the same fucktard. I think he's gone now. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, where the fuck is he? Oh shit, oh shit, he's coming back, he's coming back. Oh no, 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 no. Guys, he's actually coming back. I'm gonna try to keep my camera rolling for this. Hopefully he doesn't spot me. I have my lights off. I'm actually scared. I have my knife in my hand too. Honestly, I don't know how I managed to climb up this tree. But I climbed it like a freaking monkey. I was so scared. Shit, there he is. There he is. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm gonna be silent. I'm gonna be silent. Oh, no, 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 no. He's coming towards me. I'm sitting between two trees. High up. Oh, no, no. He's coming this way. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Please don't spawn me. Please don't spawn me.
friends playing a prank on me. I really do. I'm actually scared shitless. I'm on top of a tree right now in the freezing cold and there's a random guy chasing after me in the fucking forest. Okay, I think he's going away. I think he's gone. I've been up here sitting quietly in the dark for 20 minutes now. I'm pretty sure he's gone. I haven't seen his flashlight anywhere. I think it's safe to turn on my light. I am not joking right now. I am not joking right now. I am up in this tree. I don't I don't know if I should even keep my light on for even a second. This guy might spot me from far away. But I've been quiet for about 20 minutes up in this tree. Here, let, me, let me show you guys where I am right now. I literally climbed this big ass tree. I was afraid for my life. I saw him in a distance and I panicked and I ran up this tree and I don't even know how the hell I'm gonna get down. As you guys can see, that's a long ways down. Holy shit. Now I know you guys are gonna give me shit in the comments for coming out here by myself, but I needed a video and like I wanted to come here and I wanted to do this. I like exploring by myself and I told you guys a while ago that I'm gonna be doing a lot of explorations by myself. And I know it's probably a bad idea. Um, live a little, I guess. Fuck, I'm scared. I need to get down from this tree. Okay, I just made it out of that tree. I'm exhausted, I'm scared. I just made a really scary discovery. Besides the fact that there's a dude chasing after me in this forest all by myself. Right behind me is the hanging tree. Now two videos ago that I did here, I told you guys about legends of people being hanged here on a special tree. Well that tree is right behind me. Take a look at right here. This is the tree that homeboy used to use to hang people. It doesn't look that big from here, but trust me, it is freaking big. And look, you can see the marks on the side of the tree where the rope used to be. And I guess when he'd hang his victims here, this is fucking scary. I can't believe I just found this. This is a crazy discovery, you guys. Now, myth and legend say the killer that lives in this forest used to take his victims, walk them up that while they have a rope strapped to their neck, and he would throw them right off of the ledge of the tree. It doesn't look that high, but trust me, it's pretty, pretty, pretty high. Um, I gotta be careful because this guy might actually still be around here somewhere, and it's very, very stupid of me to keep my light on, but I'm trying to document this as I go. What the fuck was that? I just made it out of the forest finally. But there's some weird ass noise coming from. Shh. What the fuck was that? I'm honestly, I'm totally lost right now. I don't know where, uh, where I am. I just find a path, which is good. But I have my light on. I have a very, very high chance of getting spotted by whoever the fuck that dude was. Holy shit. What the fuck is this? This is, I don't know if this is funny or what, but it literally says uterus on it. Women's service. Whoa, what the f What the hell is that? I just found this off the trail. It says uterus. Women's service. Oh, creepy. I'm just gonna follow this trail down this way. See? Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh shit. Fuck, fuck I dropped my knife. Fuck. Oh shit, oh shit. 
I dropped my lights. Oh shit, my camera's about to die. My camera's about to fucking die.